and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here if you are new to my channel every Sunday I post what I call Sunday reset motivation basically I'm resetting the house that includes cleaning motivation usually a grocery haul um, but sometimes I also do meal prep anything to get ready for the week ahead I'm a single mom of three and I don't always have the time to get this stuff done throughout the week. So I like to take a day to get as much done as I possibly can. So I am starting out with getting some chicken legs into the crock pot for dinner tonight. I was trying to think of the easiest thing possible that I knew my kids would eat because they are super picky eaters. And barbecue chicken is usually a win. And I actually didn't mean to cook as much as I did, but how my chicken was packaged, it was hard to tell how much was in each pack until it was thawed and so I wasn't about to put it back into the freezer so I just went ahead and cooked it all and we'll just have leftovers. Coming over to the laundry I needed to wash a load of whites. We were getting pretty low on clean towels so I wanted to make sure that I got those washed and restock our towels for the week. Now that I have the crock pot and laundry going, I can officially get started with the cleaning. I'm gonna start in the kitchen first. I really needed to clean up from lunch, wash the dishes, and kinda reset this area back to zero. By the way, I just did another mobile home makeover very recently. I had actually finished it the day before I filmed this video, so I cannot wait to show you guys. Let me know if you spy it in this video because I think you guys get a little sneak peek as I'm cleaning, but that video will be going up in the next few days, so keep a lookout. And then I'm also gonna be starting the master bedroom this week, so I'm excited to get that out as well. I don't know if you guys remember my pink dish gloves, but I had used them a few times and ended up putting a hole in them and I just never bothered getting any more until I was in Walmart the other day and I saw these. They also have the bristles on them like my pink ones did. So I grabbed them and figured I would give them a try because 
they really help when I wear my press on nails you all know we do not have a dishwasher so my hands are submerged in water a lot it seems like we're doing dishes 75 times a day not even kidding even when we don't cook so I'm hoping that these work out So you guys will have to let me know if you have reset days and what you do on those days as part of your reset routine. I kind of have two different resets that I do. One reset is the kind that you see in this video where I tackle a bunch of cleaning, getting my groceries, etc. And then the other reset is more self-care routine focus. So y'all let me know if you want to see that reset. into my bathroom I needed to scrub out the shower tub if y'all remember I had painted this bathtub not too long ago maybe two months now and I wasn't sure at the time of painting it how it would hold up to actual everyday use because we don't typically use this tub every day and so it was kind of my tester tub so I've been using it daily and cleaning it and so far it's held up great I used the rust-oleum tub and towel kit to do it which I was unsure of because the tub is plastic but if y'all remember what this tub looked like before, it was a dingy yellow color, about the same color as the garden tub in the master bathroom. And I really wanted to update it without spending a ton of money, but so far it's worked out great. <laughs> been taking my showers in here 
I've been just bringing my towels in here as I need them, but I really wanted to have somewhere I could keep a few towels. I found this at the Dollar General for $10. And I like that I can hang it up on the wall. It's out of the way because this bathroom is super small. There's like no room to put anything. So I really like that. switching my Yeedy from vacuum to mop really quick because I did not feel like mopping today. I had ran the vacuum on it earlier but the mop pad needed to be washed so now that it's all nice and clean I can set that to mop for me and while that runs I'm gonna tackle this living room and get some new blinds hung. should have done this before I straightened the couch but our blinds really needed to be replaced they are just the thin cheap ones so they do break easy but eventually we would like to get some better quality ones but for now these will do and thankfully I didn't have to replace the brackets so I just had to pop the new ones in but while I was at it I decided to go ahead and clean the window as well and then it's like one thing led to another I noticed how dirty it was behind the couch, so I took a minute to get that cleaned up and vacuumed, but I'm sure you guys know how that goes.
So it's a little bit later. I needed to pick up a few groceries. We need to eat out of our fridge and freezer this week, so I didn't get a whole lot. We mainly just needed some more fresh fruit, um, some more milk and tea, just, you know, the weekly basics, along with some other staples that we were out of. I needed more loofahs and dry shampoo, and that's pretty much it. I had thought about running into the dollar store and grabbing this stuff, but having to take three kids into the store, it was definitely worth my gas just to do a Walmart pickup to save my sanity. If y'all remember last week, I washed my produce for the first time using baking soda, and I love it so much more than the vinegar soak that I usually do. I had ran out of my vinegar, and so I tried this instead, and I could not believe the amount of dirt that came off my produce. So if you haven't tried this yet, highly recommend. So this chicken was done after about four hours on high. I had set it for six, but I went ahead and checked it and it was ready. So I'm just taking that out of the crock pot. I'm gonna coat it with some more barbecue sauce and then we're gonna put that under the broiler for about three to five minutes, just long enough to caramelize it and that will be ready. We had some salad in the fridge that we needed to eat, so we had that and some yellow rice with it. It was a Thursday night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. But after dinner, I needed to clean my room. I wanted to at least make my bed and get all of my laundry put away. Just doing those two things alone made a huge difference, but that will complete this video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, I invite you to hit that subscribe button down below because I do post these every Sunday here on my channel. And you guys know the drill. If you're still watching, I would love for you to leave a butterfly in the comments down below to let me know that you were here. I really enjoy seeing those, but I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Every day